All right, so hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you in how you can send bulk text messages or SMS into or to your contacts here in Goha level. So we're going to discuss how you can send SMS to all contacts in your list, as long as they have the phone number, of course, or on how you can send SMS to specific group of people in your list as well, or just from an imported list. We, can, we will also, um, explore and how you can do that through an automation as well, as well as the different options for you and how to send these messages out. Because by best practices, you should kind of drip it out, especially if you're going to send bulk SMS to a lot of people, say 3,000 um, people, right? So you don't want to send it all at once. I mean, that's an option for you, but um, I recommend that you drip it out just a very um, drip it out because you don't want to be bombarded with responses, right? Um, as well as you don't want to kind of shock your SMS, SMS reputation, especially if a lot of people unsubscribe on that bulk send. Um, if this is a list that you've been sending quite frequently, then that uh, that is fine. But if you're sending it this for just you know a new list, it's the first thing or first time that you're reaching out, then I recommend dripping it out to this list. Now let's dive in on how you can send bulk SMS here in Goa level. So right now here in the dashboard, all you need to do is just go here in context. And then if it will be best if you can create kind of a smart list, but anyway, all you need to do is just, because not all here in my contact or CRM has a phone number. So uh, what, I mean, it doesn't affect, if that's if they don't have a phone number, they will be simply a skip. But for for this record or for this sample, I'm just wanted to make sure that you know they have the phone number. So I'm going to create a smart list where phone number is not empty, and then hit apply. So these are the list of people out of my 40,000 contacts that has phone number. So you might want to do that as well. So I'm just going to save this as smart list, say um, SMS sending list. So whatever works for you that can, that is, you know, more recognizable to you. So make sure that you create smart list. Um, when you create a smart list, it is only visible to you. So unless you want, if you wanted to share this with other people in your company or say to a marketing person, then you should go here and manage smart list and share it with him or her so that she'll see it. So it can be a good way for you um, when you designate tasks, delegate tasks, like for example, you create the group of people you want to send this uh, an SMS on and then share it with uh, the marketing person who will handling sending the SMS. But anyway, once you created that list of people that you want to send to, then just simply select this one and then select all and then here, send SMS. It will ask you for some confirmation. Just OK and proceed. And this is where you will select the phone number if you have multiple um, numbers in your account. In this case, I don't have one, but um, doesn't um, forbid me to go to this process. But anyway, it's not mandatory if only if you have multiple numbers. But if you have only one number, then don't worry too much about it. Just It will just default to the number that is in your account. This is where you compose the message. Now we're going to explore this as well, this SMS template. These are called snippets. And I'm going to discuss that a bit after this um, pop up here. So this is where you compose the message. And this is where you the options for you to send this um, SMS or text. So action is always um, required. So make sure to create some descriptive word like promo, SMS for say 20% off and probably just add some more descriptive words because this is just internal um, like that. And from here, once you created your message in here, you can even transform it to an MMS message with a media or an SM or an image. You can attach it as well. So I'm just going to um, promo alert. You can even add some emojis there like that and select one and then compose it from here. This is a sample promo. 
And once you've created your SMS, then you have the option to, you have three options how to send it. Send all at once, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you hit send SMS, it will send immediately to all these people that you've selected. Now send all at a scheduled time, meaning it's going to send um, all at the same time, but on a, a date and time that you preferred or your schedule in here. So you just select a date and time. So this is pretty, um, what you call this handy when you're going to be scheduling some promos in the future. And send a drip on, this is one of my uh, most used way of sending SMS because I have uh, some clients that have around 5,000 contacts with phone number and they want to send book SMS. And I don't want to kind of shock their conversation box or inbox with, you know, it will blow up their inbox for all the responses and all those stuff. So it can be very hard to uh, make sure that you replied or you handle all those messages. So I usually go with send and drip mode. So for example, if you want to send 5,000 messages to in a day, so you, you trickle it out. So 5,000 messages, for example, if 5,000, um, this is, there are cases that depending on, um, you better check your SMS limit here in Goa level. So for you to do that, uh, let me just exit it out of here. Here it's settings. I'm not sure if I have one in here, but it should be in phone number because I don't have a phone number, LC phone number in here, but so it doesn't have. But if you bought your phone number here in Goa level using your utilizing phone system, LC phone system, it's here whole number and then um, advanced settings and should be here messaging limits. So that is where you can kind of um, um, adjust the SMS limit per day in your account. Um, but going back to sending SMS like that. So I was here in send a drip mode. So start on this is kind of part schedule time when it will start and batch quantity is like say 100 or 120 per minute, one minute there. So it's like 120 times say eight hours. So that's around 1000 or something. <laughs> I'm very bad at math, but you get, you get the point. It, you need to drip it out so that um, the volume is manageable i would say and you can select the days that you want this message to send out or will resume so for example if you send it um like on a friday right now it's a friday and it and you have around 2000 contacts so 120 times say eight hours depending on the time frame here so that's just around 900 or 800 again i'm bad at math so the rest will continue next monday so they will skip saturday and sunday so this is what I'm talking about, right? processing hours. So if you don't define this, it will just send SMS each hour. So make sure to define this as well. Like for example, during um, business time only like eight to five. Okay. Uh, eight to five, uh, what you call this PM like that. So what it does is 120, um, contacts per minute so multiply that by 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 9 hours so that's the number of contacts that uh, you'll be sending sms to and again make sure you add the action here and that's pretty much it just hit send sms and it will be queued for processing or send it will start sending now i was talking about the snippets earlier where you can this one sms template um all you need to do is just go here in marketing and here is snippets. So it's like email templates for email marketing, but here in this case, it's an SMS template. So right here, you can add the snippets, add text snippets. So name it accordingly. This is just internal. So promo 2 and 225 August like that. Um, this is August promo. So this is where you can call out some custom fields because you cannot do that in that um, other other um, what you call this console on creating messages. So like hi, first name, hi, first name, like that. 
and then add your verbiage in here. This is formal like that. And you can add an attachment if you wanted to transform to an MMS and you can also test it out on yourself. You can also see a preview of how it looks, just a basic preview because you know, depends on the phone, right? And then hit save. And then once it's saved, go back to your contact and your smart list and then select them like that and then send, oh, sorry, send SMS. Okay, proceed. And this is where you can call that um, snippets here. So that's uh, how good, uh, you know, just a way for you to create or use custom fields. Um, you can also call custom fields here, but you know, the UI here is kind of, I uh, would say not friendly. And when you click out of this, it will exit out. So you, you need to start over again. So that can be frustrating. So it is best that you kind of create it, uh, the snippets first so that you won't, it, it is safe and you just need to call it out when you send the SMS. Now going back to contacts, now if you want to send, now as I mentioned, you create a smart list that defines the filters of the contacts you will be sending SMS to. So you can define it by, you know, tag like that. So find a tag that makes sense that you want to send like that, apply, and then just select it. Or And that is where you can just send book SMS to those contacts you define through these filters. Now, if you're going to send an SMS um, to an imported contacts, then all you need to do is just go here, export contacts, I mean, sorry, import contact in here. Then make sure it's contact and hit next, select the file like this, and then create an update contact. So you want that, then hit next. And this is where you're going to map the columns in your CSV file to the fields and go high level like that. And then just map it that accordingly, like email, first name, last name. This is an opportunity Excel file, but anyway, and then hit next. And then how you do this is add tags to imported contact. So add some tag that you will, um, for these contacts that you're going to upload and then create a smart list from it. So once you um, hit start book import, this contact contacts will be tagged with the tag that you define in here, like um, promo August, like that. And then add promo August, like, and then start your book import. Now, after that, once the import is done, you can just create a smart list from that tag, um, August, like that, apply. And you will see the contacts that you just imported. And you just select it and hit send SMS again. And that's it. Now, let's go on how you can send an SMS using automation. So it's pretty easy. Um, the same way, you just go and hit automation here. So instead of, let me just remove this, instead of using this bulk action send SMS, what you're going to do is just here, add to automation. So in your automation, just define a send SMS action in there without trigger, so that, because you're going to manually feed them in there. So um, it's loading. <laughs> well, but I know that you know how to create an automation for SMS, but if you don't, then that's fine. All you need to do is just create a workflow, start from scratch. And from here, and I don't recommend adding a trigger because we were going to manually feed those contacts into this automation. Um, so let's say promo August 2025, then and add a new trigger don't add anything because we don't want any contacts going inside this automation and just hit send SMS. <clears throat> and here you can call out the same template that you've created like that and then save action. Now for you to drip it out, there's tons of ways. I mean, when you, so once we publish this, let me just publish this real quick, save and Going back here to contact, let me just refresh this, the whole page, because um, it will not be, uh, it will not show. 
when I select automation. So like this, this is my smart list, select all, and then instead of send SMS, you add it, uh, use the add to automation. And same pop up, um, I'll go normal 2025, and then workflow, and then select the workflow here, this one, and then you are presented with the same option just like in send SMS book action. So you can do it from here or you can go from here. So there's a drip action in here that you can use, drip. And then this is where you can also define like 120 contacts per minute, save action. And you don't have to use the drip method in here, just go send all at once. So there are applications on and reason that you can do this, do it this way or that way, depending on your goal, depending on how you want to track the success of your promo. There's just tons of ways. So if you work with me, uh, I'll make sure or I'll ask what is the purpose of this because we wanted to make sure that we will be tracking or you know it aligns with the purpose of why you're sending this bulk test text and you know track um the effectiveness of that like if we want to install a trigger link or um create some custom um what you call this automation or autoresponder like if they replied with a certain keyword it will automatically tag them with something or it will create an opportunity to a pipeline but anyway there's just tons of ways on how we can track the um, efficientness or effectiveness of a campaign using Go High Level. And I hope that helps you in any way. So that's how you can send bulk SMS inside Go High Level via the contacts bulk action in here and via an automation and how you can send SMS to specific group of people, whether existing in your CRM or contact list or import from an import um, file. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.